So what are the causes of dry tap of the bone marrow? So whenever you're looking at or doing a bone marrow and you're getting a dry tap, what are the causes? So there can be two predominant causes. Yeah, the bone marrow is not a plastic anemia. Hai. Or there is fibrosis in the bone marrow. A fibrosis in the bone marrow can either be primary myelofibrosis or it can be secondary myelofibrosis. So what are the conditions that can cause secondary myelofibrosis? It can either be uh, simple hairy cell leukemia. So hairy cell leukemia typically causes fibrosis in the bone marrow. And to give me hairy cells, hai, the fibrosis is around that hairy cell. So hairy cells appear as clear areas. So this is what is called as fried egg appearance of the bone marrow biopsy. So that is your hairy cell leukemia. So that's first. Second is myelophistic anemia. That is could be due to metastasis in the bone marrow. So whenever there is a metastasis in the bone marrow, again it can cause fibrosis. Third is AMLM7. So AMLM7 also causes bone marrow fibrosis. So remember whenever you are getting a dry tap in the bone marrow, think of either aplastic anemia or a fibrosis in the bone marrow which can be primary or secondary. Always remember that. Remember, therefore, it is always good to do both bone marrow aspirate and biopsy together because suppose if you are getting a dry tap, biopsy will give you that what is there in the bone marrow. Either it is an aplasia or it is a fibrosis. So, always do bone marrow aspirate and biopsy and don't forget to make imprint smears, okay? So, it's always good to make imprint smears. Why? Because when you take a biopsy, it's better to touch the biopsy on the slide and by just touching or rolling the bone marrow biopsy on the slide, the cells stick to the slides and when you stay in it, you actually know whether your bone marrow biopsy is cellular or not. So, it gives you a lot of opinion and it can give you a uh, lot of information okay so always remember whenever you're doing a bone marrow do an aspirate do a biopsy and don't forget to make imprint smears bye